Hello, this is Zeba Academy. In this video, we will explore the incredible role of keystone species and how they shape and support entire ecosystems. Keystone species are crucial for maintaining the balance and functionality of ecosystems. Despite their relatively low abundance, these species have a disproportionately large impact on their environment. The concept of keystone species. The term keystone species was introduced by ecologist Robert T. Payne in 1969 to describe species that, despite their low numbers, play a significant role in their ecosystems. These species influence their environments through predation, habitat modification, and resource distribution. Keystone species are vital in regulating populations of other species, influencing the physical environment, and promoting species diversity. They are not necessarily apex predators, but can be any organism whose absence would drastically alter the ecosystem. Examples of keystone species across different ecosystems, various keystone species exemplify their importance. In marine environments, the sea otter preys on sea urchins, preventing them from overgrazing on kelp forests. Without sea otters, kelp forests would decline, impacting numerous marine species. Similarly, in North American forests, the gray wolf controls prey populations like deer and elk, promoting vegetation growth and biodiversity. Their presence also supports scavengers and smaller predators by providing carrion and reducing competition. Ecological Impact of Keystone Species Keystone species help maintain ecosystem balance and resilience. In intertidal ecosystems, the Osher sea star preys on mussels, allowing other species to thrive by preventing the dominance of mussel beds. Through top-down regulation, predators control herbivore populations, which in turn affects plant communities and overall ecosystem structure. Bottom-up regulation involves the influence of primary producers like plants on higher trophic levels. The reintroduction of gray wolves to Yellowstone National Park in the 1990s is a prime example. This led to a trophic cascade, increasing biodiversity, improving vegetation health, and even altering river dynamics. Human influence and keystone species human activities such as habitat destruction, pollution, overexploitation, and climate change pose significant threats to keystone species. Threats to keystone species, habitat loss, fragmentation, overexploitation, and pollution disrupt the delicate balance of ecosystems. These impacts can lead to declines in keystone species populations with cascading effects on biodiversity and ecosystem health. Consequences of decline or extinction. The removal of keystone species can cause dramatic ecological shifts. For instance, the decline of bees, essential pollinators, can disrupt plant reproduction, impacting entire food webs. Conservation efforts and success stories efforts to protect and restore keystone species include habitat restoration, protected areas, captive breeding, and reintroduction programs. Success stories like the recovery of bald eagles and gray wolves demonstrate the effectiveness of these efforts. Future Perspectives Ongoing research and innovative conservation strategies are crucial for preserving keystone species and their ecosystems. Advances in technology and interdisciplinary approaches enhance our understanding of these vital organisms and inform effective conservation practices. Keystone species are the architects of ecosystems, maintaining biodiversity, ecosystem function, and resilience. Their conservation is essential for ensuring the health and sustainability of our planet's ecosystems. By embracing research, innovative strategies, and addressing the drivers of biodiversity loss, we can protect and restore keystone species and their habitats, securing the myriad benefits they provide. Subscribe to Zeba Academy for more fascinating insights into the wonders of the natural world.